In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the basics of video editing using Corel's Video Studio Pro X3. When we first launched the program, we were presented with the Quick Launcher. From here, we can select the Advanced Edit Mode. This has now launched the main Video Studio Pro X3 application. Let's take a brief look at the workspace itself. At the top here we have the step panel. From here we can capture, edit and share our videos. Next to this we have the menu bar and this has the usual commands like file open, save, edit, undo etc. Below this we have the preview window. This is where we'll preview any of our clips. And to preview a clip by clicking on it and we can use the navigator below to play, to rewind, pause, etc. Or we can use the scrub bar here just to move through the video clip itself and we can set our in and out points on that clip. But I'll show you how to do that in a moment. And below this we have the toolbar and this toolbar controls all the videos that we place on our timeline which is the section below here. To place a clip into the timeline we simply click on it in the library and just drag and drop it onto the timeline. And now we can use the scrubber on the top here to move through our clip. The next part is the options and from here we can do the colour corrections, we can change our playback speed, take a snapshot and do multiple trims etc. So now let's put together a short project using some of the new tools and features found in Video Studio Pro X3. The first thing I need to do is to bring in some video files. And um, Before I do that I'm going to set up a new folder in the library just to make finding files easier. So we go on to the Gallery, Library Organizer and now we can add a new folder and I'm going to call this one Africa. And we click OK on that and we close there. And now using the step panel we go on to Capture. And from here we can capture video directly from a camera or we can scan a video file or we can import digital media. And as I've already imported my files onto the hard drive I'm going to select this option. And this opens the Import dialog panel. And from here now we can select our import source. So in other words I'm going to be selecting the folder where I know my movies are saved on. I have separate folders here. All my movie files are in this folder called Movie Files and I've also got a still image which I've placed in a folder called Logo and this is actually a photo so you can actually import stills and movie files at the same time. Click OK. And these are the two folders I'm going to be importing so let's start on there. And now I'm presented with thumbnails of all the files that are contained within those folders. And if I want to see any one of these, preview it, I can just double click on it and we have a preview instantly available. And this gives us an idea what that particular clip contains. And for the project I want to demonstrate I only need files of giraffes so let's click on all the files I want and we'll start our import. I can select which folder I want to place them into and at the moment I just want to put them into the one I've just defined which is Video Africa and we click OK on there. OK so now we can start our editing process. The first thing we need to do is to start bringing in our video clips onto the timeline. So let's click on the first clip I want to bring in and just drag and drop it on there. And As you can see it's running to quite a long time, 13 and a half seconds which is far too long. I only need about 4 seconds. So if we hold a cursor over the end of the clip and now we can just drag the end down to about the 4 second mark. And now we've trimmed that clip down and you can see here that we're only using this very small section of the clip. The rest has actually been discarded. Another method for bringing in clips is to double click on a clip and now we can preview the entire clip and we can decide where we want the clip to start and I think we can start somewhere around about there and we'll use the set in point here and we click on the square bracket or press the F3 key and this sets the in point. And it's always useful to trim off the first couple of seconds of any clip because there's always going to be a very slight bit of camera movement as you press the start button. We can now use the scrubber to move along and find an out point 
and I think somewhere around there just for the giraffe hides behind a tree and we can click on the set out point or press the F4 key. Click OK. Now when I bring this clip in and drop it on the timeline it's automatically been trimmed already for me but nothing's been lost because I can actually recover any bit of the clip by just dragging along the end and you'll see there it's moved in and likewise I can trim trim it up accordingly as well so we just trim it up there or we can actually use the preview window and we can click on this enlarge button here and now I can see in greater detail exactly where I want to place my out point and there and we click on the out point now and we minimize that again so now that clip's been trimmed up perfectly there is another way we can bring in clips and that's via the storyboard view and we click on this and this is rather like arranging slides on a slide table we can just click on a clip and drag and drop it downwards and again same we can trim up any of these clips afterwards by simply going onto the preview window here and setting our in and out points there I'm going to have that as the in point press the F3 key or the left bracket and as the giraffe moves to the window I'm going to set the out point there and that has been trimmed up there you can see the trim markings on there so now I'm just going to add the rest of the clips onto the storyboard now that I've trimmed and added all my video clips to the timeline I want to do something a little bit more with the video and Video Studio Pro X3 has numerous effects and special features that we can apply to our movie clip so let's go back to the very first clip in the sequence here as you may remember we've trimmed this down to four seconds but I actually now want to increase the length of the clip and this is very simple we just drag the out point trim marker and just drag it along and I'm going to have a roughly 10 second clip now and as I do this you can see the rest of the timeline has all moved along to accommodate the extra time that I've allocated to this first clip I'm going to move the marker to roughly around about the 8 second mark and I'm going to use the scissors to trim I'll show you what's going to happen next and now we've split this clip into two clips so we're going to click on the first one and I'm going to apply a special effects to this so we go to the FX filters and I'm going to use the new auto sketch so we click on there and we can see a preview of what the sketch is going to do now to apply any filter to a video clip we just simply click on the filter and drag and drop it and place it on top of the video clip we want it to apply to and there we go I'm going to expand this so we can see exactly what's happening we'll play the video clip and that looks fine to me now the reason I actually split the clip in half is because once the drawing is completed it moves on to the next video clip and I actually want the viewer to be able to see exactly what we've got on our timeline. 